other sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do your reading for you guys. It's going to be your next 48 hours. Let's get right into the reading. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Let's get into this reading for you. Using the wild unknown, and we are asking that your angels and spirit guides join us. <clears throat> hmm, I've got a card in here from another deck. Page of Swords. <laughs> and the Fool in the Tower. And like right at the start of your reading, my I have another one. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know I'm doing these back to back, but <laughs> Jeez, Kim. King of Pentacles. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> Let's keep shuffling then. Something's happening with my throat chakra. <clears throat> Just my throat in general. It's like I can't stand up and speak. Even if I wanted to kind of deal. I don't know. Strange. More time. I'm going to clear the energy. More Aries. Eight of Swords. Oh, Aries. Well, you know, the time that that, um, that you're in the chrysalis it might feel uncomfortable and you might feel really trapped but it's usually time as a process and then some you know you open up and you fly away it's a temporary situation where your thoughts are right now anxiety worry it's temporary and some of it is self-imposed, limiting beliefs or feeling like um, more concerned about what others are thinking than you, um, really. And there's the Four of Swords, beautiful. King of Cups in the reverse. You're healing something that made you really upset. Well, I guess these are both past. <laughs> nice. Nice, guys. We have Nine of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Past energy coming out. Um, Mother of Wands. There's completion and definitely a healing, so it's not going to feel the greatest. And then there's going to be a need to listen to your intuition. Don't be lured in. Watch out about placing blame. Oh my gosh, wow. What are we doing? It's a bunch of thinking and it's a bunch of, um, well, this is a reverse, so it's like, aha, we're gonna end up having a solution. Temperance is good because that's what we're thinking about, like how to heal a situation. And I feel like the focus does need to be on how to heal a situation. The correct chemistry, too, is coming across with that temperance energy. Believe it or not, this is actually something good because um, the nine of reverse means you're coming out of a time where you felt completely like there was you were feeling bad or in your head that there was nothing more you could do in a situation. But if just because there wasn't something that you could do doesn't mean the blame game it needs to be applied here because the eight of swords is making me feel like this is like guilt over the way that feeling something should be feeling restricted or feeling like you're bogged down with responsibilities which means like loaded down or just very heavy, heavily have a lot of responsibilities and you can't leave them or something like that. So there is a 10 of wands like where there was a completion. It's, it's, it's the nail moment. So this is what's been accepted. And I feel like that's bringing in healing is this completion where we're like, yeah, okay, this is the point where I've done all I can do 
and then you pull out. Of course, this is making you mad. I, it probably has to do with you investing out so much into something and it turning out not so great. Notice it's the black swan. Might be talking about somebody who's just very, um, we could say unconventional, but can that, may I add, very wealthy. We have <laughs> wealth here, like showing up majorly. There's something that you don't trust about intuition in general or somebody's gifts or your own gifts. Well, you don't trust what's unfamiliar. Okay, so that's a normal. <laughs> it's, 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 it's something kind of normal, right? But you done, you've done all you can do. You have to let your burdens go sometimes. There's there's like a, okay, I, re I release my need to control a situation. I release my responsibility from a situation. Because on some level, there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. Maybe with how we express our emotions or how we don't express our emotions. It might be about that. The Ten of Pentacles in the past and the Mother of Wands in the reverse. This card is about um, a mother being very protective over her eggs. And in the reverse, it's kind of like maybe someone wasn't paying attention to their, what, nest egg? Or real eggs? Or I don't know. I don't know, or money or something. I don't know, there's something about not wanting to be bold here, not wanting to fight or stand up, not wanting to stand up and speak. That might be what I'm trying to say. Okay, what needs to be healed? What needs to be healed? Such a little rainy day today here. Kinda nice though to look at the rain, right? Um, okay, Nine of Pentacles again. These are like this, so I'm going to take them like that. There's healing that's coming after a job thing didn't work out. Um, I feel like something else comes in, and, and Nine of Pentacles is 9-9. Nine, nine. You're, you're, let, you're letting go of the past. You're accepting endings to some situations, and you're moving on, and you're letting go of blame. And you're also trying to let go of hurt. So while you're healing, you're probably still hurting. But something is going to work out. It's going to be, I, I'm getting the word, it's going to be unconventional. Something's going to be unconventional. Um, your magic is working. Your magic is working. If it's If it was to this, if you wanted something really new, something new to inspire and motivate you, it comes in. It's represented by the two of wands, which is what comes after the ace of wands, you know? There's that spark of inspiration. I'm wanting to say the inspiration's gonna be found within you and your spirit team's gonna help you notice it, but but there's an issue with that. So let's first go and clarify what's this blame about and what's the conflict? Like what are what are we conflicted about here? Five of swords. What are we conflicted about? five of wands in reverse we don't want to play games and we're not sure who was playing a game and who wasn't playing a game we don't want to play games and we feel like somebody may have been playing a game we're not taking something very seriously and we're done with that energy right no more arguing no more arguing tired of arguing what's the nine of swords in reverse Feeling like somebody was never going to change. You, you weren't getting that intuition that somebody was actually willing to change and make something more balanced. So that's why you set yourself free from feeling obligated. If this person wanted to change, then you would have been all there for them. But that's why you decided that's enough. I've done all I can do. All right. What's the high priestess? What is this trying to tell you, the high priestess in reverse? Ace of Pentacle in reverse. After all that you invested, you're healing after all that you invested. You're healing in injustice. 
possibly healing and um, healing something that has to do with the initial first missed opportunity or a false start at some kind of injustice to making something right. What else? Five of Pentacles in the reverse is great. So if something ends up being a success and whereas something was not reciprocal with the money, there's something coming in really great with the money and with the whole feeling alone. If somebody felt left out, this is going to be fixed. It's like she's going to lift up her head and see that the key is right there and she can get out of this temporary situation if if they just if this person just listens to themselves or if you just listen to yourself. You can get out of this situation and you will and you do. <laughs> and you do. What's the um, two of wands helping us with? What is this wanting us to focus on? Our business, our money, and the family business. This could be about money coming in too with the King of Pentacles. It's feeling like there's a change and there's an ending to doing something a certain way. Um, maybe even new business information, new wise, wise investments. I don't know, just something a little bit different. And it's a completion. It's a completion and a, tur a turning of a new chapter that's about to like unveil itself to you. So you're about to see and witness a new chapter here um, in somebody's evolution, whether it's you or somebody really close, it's kind of ending up being like a family evolution here too. So let's go ahead and get um, some angel cards to wrap up your reading with. Aries. This was for Aries. There might be like Libra justice issues healing this um, too, healing. And it might be like more focus on justice here and how to relieve ourselves from anything we feel restricted by. And there's the angel of imagination. Your angel's working behind the scenes helping you with this. And then 16, pay attention to your health. Angel of health. Also sometimes indicated by a shakeup, but here's some good news coming in if this is a health report for you coming in, like from your doctor or something. So that is what I've got. I'm going to pull from the Real Talk deck, and then I'm going to close. We'll close with this. The Real Talk deck from Etsy for Aries. Ooh, your royalty. So wear your crown. Why aren't you wearing your crown? <laughs> you have all the crown jewels. Might as well wear your crown too. <laughs> Acknowledge the royal, the royalty in your DNA, courtesy of your the divine and your ancestors. Hold your head up high and di display your crown. MVP, you are the most valuable person in your life and you can achieve anything you put your mind to. Ignore the naysayers and release limiting beliefs. Accept the challenges that come with doing something that has never been done before. And yin yang here to bring some balance. There is a flow of both masculine and feminine energy within us all, which represents the duality present in life. Allow these energies to work together in harmony with yourself to maintain circulation and balance. And and know that if you have had a particularly dark time, especially here in, in this situation, maybe in the past where we had to let go of this or whatever we're holding on to, blame, self-limiting beliefs, anything like that, um, anything that limits us, then just get ready because you are you need to get ready for this upturn because that is what's inevitable and that is what's going to happen. And there's a, a lot of success here, a lot. So... Thank you so much, Aries, sending you love and light as usual. Bye, guys.